All right, hey Steve, uh, glad I finally got this video up for you. Uh, let's take a look at him going into his leg lift. So one of the first things I talk about, and this is all through science, this goes through ASMI, Andrews Institute down in Alabama, that I learned a lot of my practices through Top Velocity, which does a lot of biomechanics. Uh, but I simplify it down. Uh, I make it pretty, hopefully, simple to understand. So ASMI talks about high-velocity pitchers when they're going into their leg lift are going to move forward or get started sooner than low velocity pitchers. So the only problem with this is you're moving the camera. See that? So that line is on a move with you. But if we can't look at the front, let's look at the back hip, okay? Now let's look at the back hip and let's look past that back hip if there's anything we can pick up as you're coming to the top of your leg lift. Okay, there's something behind there. If not, you top of your leg lift, okay. Top of leg lift as well. There's a tree behind there. Okay, there's the top of your leg lift. Remember before we couldn't see that tree at all. So that's how much you're moving your hips forward. That's exactly, that's an excellent start to what you're doing. I love it. Absolutely love it. Because now, if you think about it, if I was to stop you right there, what's going to happen? Gravity's going to pull you down. So this is the part of the delivery or the stride where you're using free power. You're using gravity. You're going to control that gravity by bending the back leg. That controls our fall. So let's move forward because the hips want to go forward and down at the same time. Forward and down at the same time. We've already moved forward here. Now let's see how we go down. Good. Good. Hips forward and down. Now you see this funky thing with your leg right there? All that is is you're trying to keep your lower half closed, which is really good. That's just the way you're doing it. And there's a couple pictures that's just their style. What I see you not doing so far is I don't see you bending this back leg from this angle because you're still pretty high up right here. So remember, when we're back here, you're over the edge of a cliff, right? Remember, we want to move out and we want to move down at the same time. You're moving out, but you're not moving down that much because this back leg needs to bend. This is the time that it bends too. When you come up here, you come to the top of your leg lift. And then you'll feel yourself go right over the edge of the cliff right here. And you'll feel yourself start to fall downward. When you feel that, that's when you start to bend the leg and you control it. So your legs have to be strong. It's called an eccentric contraction. It's as you, it's, uh, it's as you squat. We do a lot of workouts with eccentric lifts and different things like that. But as you sit down, that's an eccentric movement into your leg that you have to control your body. I don't know what your weight is, but I don't see you bending that back leg right here. So at the point that you want to drive, right there, you're about driving, you're turning over, right there is a drive. I want to get you out just a little bit more, right there. Oh. I'm going to get you before you open. So if I can use this tool on my phone, uh, let's see, right about I can't wait to get the note eight. I'm using my fat fingers right now. Okay, close enough, good. All right, now let's take it up. Now this back leg, before you drive, wants to be at about 45 or 50 degrees. Well, you can see how high it is. Where we actually want it, you know, is more down into that angle. How we do that? My friend, your weakest link, this culprit, the back leg. Learn how to use your back leg and help your fall. Everything else looks pretty good. I'm not worried about you pulling out early. See how you're pulling out early? Your front side's out early. I don't worry about that. I control this fall, and then you'll feel more power. You're still pulling out because you're not getting all the power out of this. So if you don't get power out of this, what you do is you overcompensate, and we don't want to use this to throw. And you're still doing that. So there's still more velocity in you, pal. Um... If you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to text me. I'm at 832-515-4247. I like your delivery. You come out beautifully. And I don't know how, how hard you throw, but that's nice. You see that? That's a beautiful start. You just have to learn how to control that moving forward and down. So good job, pal.